All prison salaries are low, so almost everyone improvises. It's an illegal system of barters and trades, known as the hustle. It takes money to survive anywhere you go, even in prison. So if you don't hustle, I mean, you're not gonna die, but you're not gonna live. Well, you get the proverbial, you know, three hots in a cot. You know, that's true, but have you seen the three hots? The system offers the essentials. Three meals a day, basic hygiene, and clothing. The good stuff comes from the inmate commissary. From snack food and soda to name brand shampoo. These are the little extras that make time bearable, bought with money from friends and family on the outside. But those that don't have the resources can always fall back on a hustle. I have to have something to eat. Since I can't afford to go to the store and buy it, I have to hustle it up. You know, it's just like having a second job. In any given dorm, there might be a chef, a tailor, a lawyer. Trial counsel induced Owens. And most are compensated in instant coffee. The currency in prison is coffee. Instead of, instead of packs of cigarettes, they just, everybody just pays with coffee. Inmates can only buy coffee crystals from the inmate store, but they parcel them out as currency. At the store, this coffee is only like $2.25, $2.25. That's $4 right here. That's just $4. Coffee is then traded for other items or services. There's dudes in a joint. They've got tattoos. So guys tell me what they want, and then just draw it on paper. And that's like my little hustle in the joint. So the thing that sells hot is girls with fat asses, something with a gun, you know what I'm saying? You throw some skulls in there, you know what I'm saying? And it oversells no matter what. I do this because it's kind of hard living off $15 a month. I made a CD case for a guy just so he can carry it around his neck while he works out and stuff. That's what he wanted. People start hearing that you're a tailor. You know, the past two weeks, I've been sewing like at least six hours a day. Failure of any of these points renders enforcement of the plea unconstitutional. My niche is basically legal work. Um, it's what I do. If you did it as a hustle, you're either number one or number two, because everybody needs a lawyer. You find a jailhouse lawyer, will do research and find that one flaw that'll open that door up for you. So you gotta be bulletproof in prison. And a jailhouse lawyer and a store man are probably the two most important things in prison, in that order. For the inmates with money on their account, the most lucrative hustle is running an underground store from a cell, similar to buying wholesale and selling retail. Running a store means you have all the commissary, you spend your money, and you give guys two coffees for three back or 10 soups for 15 soups back. And that's how you make your, your money. This is just my store as opposed to the commissary store. I buy extra chips and soups and coffees and uh, guys get hungry, they come and get them. And I go out here and beat the streets and I find guys to take the product off my hand and bring it back at an interest rate. And You know, cause I don't eat chips myself, but I buy them because other guys eat them. Chaz, a former street hustler, has already found his piece of the action. And here, coffee is like weed. I either be playing spades or just standing by the table with the coffee in my pocket, and everybody know what I do. I sell the coffee. Everybody else, they sell it, but I, I sell real, real, real big shots because I don't drink coffee. I'm selling big shots for the same price they sell them for the little ones, so I'm getting the most business. I buy about five bags of coffee and probably make around close to $100. We'll keep this booming. That's what I call it, booming. Every hustle is a behind-the-scenes enterprise because in Ohio, trading or bartering of any kind is illegal. 